Hey everybody, it is me. I'm in the meat cooler in my workplace. And yes, as you can tell by the nearly empty shelves that we have here, we made a lots of profit this past weekend. Meat, dairy, bread, stuffing mix, everything was flying out the door this past weekend. And I want to take the time to appreciate and thank all the customers for shopping at our location, plus the other locations that we have all around the country. Without all of you, all of us, our co-workers, our management, our staff would be nothing, nothing. So double thumbs up to you guys and gals for shopping with us. You are all very appreciated. Now, I also want to take the time to advertise and plug our music show, Music Maniacs, as I always do in my vlogs here. This coming Wednesday evening, we'll be talking about Mick Mars versus Motley Crue. We're going to definitely dig deep into that for sure. And I'm sending this out to all the new subscribers of my channel who are fascinated by the two videos I've done on that particular situation. And the reason why we're going to continue this topic is because now, not only K.K. Downing of Judas Priest, well, formerly of Judas Priest, I should say, he's came out in support of Mick Mars, as well as Neil Sean, the guitarist from Journey. He was not too happy about the situation either. A friend of mine named Jeff, who plays bass in a band called Roads to Oz, which is a Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rose tribute group, he posted on his Facebook, Team Mick all the way. Me and YR had a little discussion last week when we was exchanging articles. And he even stated loud and clear, Motley Crue are in the wrong for giving him the shaft like they were. I mean, when you think about it, Mick Mars was probably one of the biggest backbones behind all those songs that Motley Crue did throughout the whole those decades. Not just Kickstart My Heart, Looks That Kill, we're talking about songs like 10 Seconds of Love, She Goes Down, you know, uh, what's that one called? Oh, um, Merry Go Round for the first record there. Too Fast for Love. Oh, the Too Fast for Love, the song itself there. You know, and when you think about it, the man is a real trooper. I mean, despite the arthritic spine condition that he's been dealing with for ages, he's still able to get out there and play guitar like he does, like it's nobody's business. And the final, all this, find all this bullshit that's been coming up, like his 25 percentage being cut down to 5 percent. No, that's not right. That is not right. You know. And for them to state that he, that they don't owe him anything. Well, actually, they do. He was the one who helped came up with the name, as well as being a co-founder of the band. Nick is a veteran. He originally played in the band called White Horse back in the 70s. And there is a video going back to the 1970s that I saw here on YouTube of his old band playing an outdoor gig. And get this, the drum set is pulled upside down while the drummer's still playing. And yet Tommy Lee came, says he came up with that idea years later, during the Girls, Girls, Girls tour. Look for it on YouTube, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm gonna save the rest for our music show tomorrow evening. 
excuse me if I'm fumbling by my words there. As for myself, you know, I got plans this weekend. This Saturday I'm going to be at the castle in downtown Ivor slash Tampa. I've been waiting to see how that joint is on a Saturday evening. I've heard from a couple of people that it's just as good as Friday nights. Plus they have an extra room open on Saturdays known as the dungeon. I want to check that out for sure. But I also want to give a shout out to the 7-Eleven staff nearby, which is a good distance of walking. Whenever I come out of the castle, I go straight to the 7-Eleven. You know, there's a long lineup of people there. I go in and get whatever drink or snack I wish. Go back to the car, snack, and then I drive off home. Which, by the way, is a pretty uh, good measurable time within about the 24 minute range. Whereas heading from work to numbers back in Texas was about more, almost more than an hour. By the time I would get to that joint, it'd be about close to midnight. So I'm going to be definitely checking out the castle on Saturday evening there for Shizzle. That's all I got for this time of being. I got to get back to work and see what I can work on what's left me happy or obviously there. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys later. And once again, my apologies for my family of words to my new subscribers out there. See you guys later. Rock on.